up guys welcome back to Dana's channel today I'm going to be doing a Shea Bismuth six month post-op after my second surgery that was done about six months ago it's kind of been over six months now today is June 1st so it's been over six months but um yeah today I'm going to be doing that video if you haven't already make sure you like subscribe and turn your post notification bells for more amazing content and for you to get notified every time we post if you're not new welcome back to the channel hi guys by the way guys we're trying to get to 1k subscribers so click the subscribe button because we're almost there. Guys, we're literally almost there, and if y'all would just subscribe and click the notification bell and, you know, like this video, then that would make me so happy, guys. All right, so let's just get straight on into the video. So as y'all can tell, my eyes are pretty much straight. I've been super satisfied, and I'm super happy with how they turned out. Um, I don't think I could ask for anything better than this. I am so happy, as y'all can tell. After my first surgery, um, I did my little video on that. You can go back and watch it. But after that surgery, I did realize that um, there was still a little bit of a drift in my eye, I could say, and I was not happy about that. And I kept telling my parents about it and everything like that. And to be honest, they did not, they didn't see it. They told me that it still goes out a little bit and that if I want to reschedule a new surgery, I could do that. And that's what I did. I got a second surgery done, maybe about a few weeks later. Um, the second surgery went great, as you can tell. I'm so happy with how my eyes look now, and I don't think I could ask for like anything better. The second surgery, I did video, and I um, videoed the whole entire process as I did with the first one. But I did get a new phone, and I lost all of my footage from that, and um, I don't know if my mom has it on her phone. If she does, I might add some into this video, but to be honest, it's not enough for uh, what I had in the past. I literally had like a whole vlog and it was gonna be so much better than the first one. But um, yeah, I lost all my clips. I know in the last video or two videos ago, I asked if y'all want to see it and some people said yes. Where do I even go with this? Um, like, how do I even start a video like this? I mean, this is just me giving you all a, a review of, um, my eye now and there's really not much to say um it was a struggle it was a struggle having my eye um like how i had it before my surgeries i know a lot of y'all always have a question about this even in person that people i know they always ask me a specific question did you have a lazy eye when you were born no i did not i was not born with a lazy eye i know most people that have a lazy eye they're always like born with it i wasn't um my lazy eye came on about when I was about seven, eight, and I had my first appointment at eight years old. That's the first time I ever scheduled going to an eye doctor or anything like that. I kind of think, I don't know if it was after or before. I think it was when I was on a doctor's appointment just for like shots or whatever, and then they gave me, um, they, they noticed about my eye and they gave me a specialist to go to. That's how I think I found the place I went to. And then I was getting my like eyes checked and they were like, yeah, that's a good place to go. All right, that's how it went, okay, okay. At eight years old, guys, they were telling my mom and my dad that I should get surgery done, and it was just like, in my head, surgery, eight years old. Because the thing is, that never like, it never bothered my vision. I always had good eyesight, I was like, super good on what I could see, like nothing blurry, nothing was for me. I never had double vision, I was completely fine. It's just, my eye was just drifting out. And <laughs> why, I don't know. To this day, I really don't really know like exactly how it really happened. I mean, yeah, they always say straight business is like whenever your muscles are loose and then they have to tighten it back to get into place. But to be honest, like how did my muscle just become loose at seven? Like, you know, like I still be thinking about that to this day. I don't know, will I ever get an answer? Maybe not. I went back when I was 13. So literally a year ago, I went back, I'm pretty sure. And then that's when I scheduled my first surgery. Cause I'm like, when I go there, I'm gonna just get it done. And I'm gonna just get it done. I was like kind of getting fed up with myself with keeping it. I was just like, I'm so done. And that's when I was like, I told my mom, I, I was researching, I was watching like a bunch of YouTube videos. And I was just like, I kept telling my mom like, yeah, like I really want to like schedule an appointment to go to my specialist and just schedule in a surgery. Cause I was, I was getting so fed up guys. Like when I tell y'all, I was like at my limits. Like I was just like, I'm so done with having this. You know, like the stares that people give you. It's say if you have something on your face and like, you know, like somebody doesn't want to tell you, but they're staring at it. But it's different because when I'm talking to somebody, it's like, they're looking at both of my eyes and I can tell and that was just, it was terrible. I knew people talked about it. <laughs> I knew that people would talk about it. I don't even know if it's supposed to be a part of the post-op, but it's just me talking about like my whole entire thing and journey. Oh yeah, by the way guys, literally in, like, in four days, I have 
a um another post op to go to uh, june 5th i have to go after my first surgery it's probably been about 10 11 months so almost a year after my first surgery and then since my second surgery has been about six months so i got my surgeries pretty close um together i didn't like try to spread it out i was not gonna stay with the guys i was not i was like if there's anything i can do now i'm getting it done now even my parents were like if it can be done now it's gonna be done now so i didn't wait too long to get my second surgery done i felt a lot more tired second surgery second off um i had double vision my second surgery i never had it the first surgery um that's how i could tell also that my eyes are way more shorter because i was actually going through what was supposed to happen the first time but it didn't happen the first time but as y'all can tell my eyes are glamorous <laughs> anybody who's maybe had a lazy eye whether it goes in out up down there's so many different ways your eye can go yeah i got a lazy eye six months since i got my surgery i'm feeling great i look great i think i look beautiful <laughs> I think I look great. Thanks to my doctor, Dr. Mick Cash. Dr. Mick Cash, big shout out to you. Thank you so much. You made me feel so much more happier with myself. By the way, guys, my eyes are not red anymore. Like, they're not red. They do have their red days. And like, since I pull my eye down, I can see uh, the little red dot where he like did the incision. But other than that, it's still slowly fading, fading away. Um, some days I see it, some days I don't. It really depends. But yeah. Post-ups are usually super quick. They just want to show y'all how I'm doing. Um, <laughs> if y'all really want to see, like if you're new and you're just watching this video for the first time, if you really want to see what I look like, just go back, like scroll down a few videos and you it'll pop up. It was bad. It was real bad. Um, I have like photos in my phone. Like, let me like find one. Y'all, look. Like guys, look. It's, it was just so bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is actually gonna be my outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn your post notification bells. As I said in the beginning, guys, please get us to 1K subscribers. Dante's video literally blowed up. It's at like 70 something K right now. And we have not even got to 1,000 subscribers. So what are y'all doing? Y'all better click that subscribe button. It's literally free. 1K, I feel like I'll be on the ground. I'll feel like. I'm elite. Anyways, guys, I love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. I'll see y'all guys in the next one.